the most innocent up and coming star in the whole music industry, Olivia Rodrigo, and there's Satan McCartney. And you are going to watch this innocent little flower start rubbing blood all over her fucking face and chest. As she sings about a demon vampire sticking his teeth into her neck and sucking the blood out from under her. This is obviously her sacrifice song. Um, there we go. Yeah, sorry, Olivia, you're gone. You're the lost cause. And then blood just starts fucking pouring from the fucking walls. Like, this is like the cutest little like 20 year old little angel in all of music and she's performing rubbing blood on her fucking face as blood pours from the walls and she sings about bleeding out I mean just you know what I'm starting to realize what's that our celebrities are the demons. They are not angels. Hold on, say that again. Our celebrities are demons. They are not angels. From T.I., Gucci Man, all these are demonic forces. Demons. Pretending. It says that Satan masquerade as a light. Let me make sure your mic is right. All right, go ahead. It says that Satan masquerade as a light. These demonic forces have been accused of everything from killing our people, raping our babies, beating our women, and we still love and idolize them. Say, I'd rather be famous instead. She a devil, she a rebel, I'm a demon lord. That was an artist who goes by the name Doja Cat. In addition to calling herself the devil and telling the Lord she's a demon, she also can be seen in her video Paint the Town Red, dancing with the Grim Reaper. She doesn't shy away from showing her allegiance to the dark side. She also changed her profile picture to what I can only describe as the devil himself. Now, I really don't know if Doja was hacked or if this is some kind of promo, but whatever's going on, I hope she hurries up and changes that profile picture because this is extremely creepy. Yes, there was a time she deleted all her Instagram content and changed her profile picture to a demon. There it is there. She also posts pictures like this on her Instagram. She also likes to drench herself from head to toe in mock blood. She also has this video where she appears to be possessed by a demon, swirls blood around in her mouth, and then spits it out. As with many of these artists today, they seem to be trying to make Satan and demonic possession seem cool. When the truth is, Satan actually hates them, and they're being used to lead the next generation down the path to destruction. It's interesting, she said, I'd rather be famous instead, because they're giving their souls in exchange for fame and money. I pray that these entertainers and the young people following them wake up. Because as the Bible says, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Yes, Bob. Back in here again once again, man. Listen. So I was scrolling on the internet. And I seen these clips that was on TikTok, right? I know that they have the Grammy uh, Awards and all of this other extra stuff. I don't know if they hold it every year. VMAs, BET. I don't, I don't keep up with that stuff. You feel me? But I do notice that year after year i'll see little clips that like catch my eye and i'm like bro why is it that it's like more and more year after year like the award shows they're like looking and turning like more and more demonic now i seen this clip i think it was like last year sam smith had a performance and he had like the devil horns on and he's doing the whole devil thing and i'm like uh, it's like they're not hiding this stuff no more. And I said that already. But this one was a little bit weird because I don't know who that artist was who was up there singing when the screen was bleeding. But that was super weird to me, bro. Why is it that all of these performances, like year after year, it's like they get more and more like demonic and like, it's like ritual-like, you feel me? Like they're they're doing something, you feel me? Like 
certain things that you see in the industry and in the media, you can look at it and chalk it up as, oh, maybe this is entertainment. But sometimes they do some stuff that's very far fetching and you have to raise an eyebrow like, yo, like, why are you guys doing that? And you have to understand that a lot of these things that are being done is to program and capture the mind of the youth. Now, there's a lot of people, no secret, who want to go into the industry or want to do music or want to be in entertainment, the arts, acting, things of that nature. And you have to understand that a lot of the people that you see in the industry, some of them, yes, they had a uh, publicist. Some of them, they were grandfathered in, like they have somebody in their family that's in the industry. Everybody's situation is different. But I'm telling you this right now, in order to get up on these big stages and big situations and do things like this, you have to do some things. You feel me? And that's why Charleston White, shout outs to him, he came out and he said certain things. He said, yo, our celebrities are demons. And people need to understand that how powerful that is by him even saying that. A lot of people have came in to notice, yes, a lot of them are, but there are some people, it's like, in these celebrities' eyes, it's like they, they don't do no wrong. You get what I'm saying? Like, for example, I got a homie. He loves Boosie like all day long. In his eyes, Boosie can never do no wrong. He sees no problem with Boosie. Boosie is Boosie. He has no problem. So it's like you see like the actions and how like celebrities have these influence on these people. It's like some people, they just fall in love with them. And it's like, bro, they're so oblivious to the things that they do. Nobody is perfect, but you have to ask yourself once again, how did these people get there and why are they there? Really? It's like almost as if these people were handpicked to be in these situations because they know that these people are going to be glorified and looked at as uh, likable or they have charm, charisma, people that you want to be like, like a Boosie or little baby. But you have to ask yourself one more time, why are these people so special? to why they get to be on the front stage. Not saying some people didn't work hard for it, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of people that are in the industry, music-wise, entertainment-wise, and acting. They're not very talented, bro. Yo, my bad about that, man. My microphone had uh, cut off. So back into what I was saying, there's a lot of people in the industry, no shade at all. Some people are talented, but there are a lot of people that they're not very talented. And I'm pretty sure if you look locally, uh, amongst your friend group, people that you know, maybe even you, you're probably more talented than some of these people. I'm pretty sure you've came across a lot of people like, yo, why isn't this person in the industry or why aren't they signed? I'm pretty sure the industry knows about them, but the industry handpicks and selects who it is that they want to be there. You feel me? It's like example. There are certain people that are more desperate than others. So it's like, why would I put on somebody who can't hold down the fort, if you get what I mean? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain that for you, right? Are you going to put on somebody who's like, has their way already in life? Or are you going to put on somebody who's like desperate? You feel me? Like, it's like a tale of two halves. So I'm going to go a little bit deeper to kind of clear it up, make it make sense, right? The industry, in my honest opinion, they go after a lot of desperate souls and people who probably lack certain strong morals. They don't have as much strong morals as certain other people. So people who are poverty stricken in a broken mindset feel like there's no way out that are truly desperate. I feel like the industry goes after those type of people because they would make the most sense. You feel me? There are some people who have strong morals and boundaries to the point where it's like, you know what, bro? I'm not about to do all of this for some money. I'd rather quit or I'd walk. People with dignity. That's what I mean. I feel like the industry doesn't want people like that. You feel me? And if you're a person who has a lot of dignity, pride, self-worth, things of that nature, the industry wouldn't work out for you. That's just my honest opinion, looking at the situation and examining everything, right? especially from a hip hop aspect. If you rap or do all of this gangster music or whatever, and you're not proven to be somebody who's like accepted in the streets or you don't got a back end like that, it's kind of like a little bit harder for people to accept you. You feel me? You have to look at it like this. Like the hood accepts who they want to accept. 
the industry accepts who they want to accept. You feel me? But once you're in the industry, they have the power to make every and anybody, whoever they want to, that's that's on that worldly thinking level like you. You feel me? So, example, like a Drake. Drake isn't from the hood, but Drake get a lot of love from the hood. You feel me? Why is that? Is it because of Jay Prince and his ties with mob ties? Who knows? But what I'm trying to tell you is, is that there's a lot of people that are in the industry and they fill certain roles. You feel me? Back in the Drake, for example, Drake was in the industry since he was a child. You feel me? Through who? His family. You feel me? He was in the Grassi. Trans, uh, transition from doing acting into doing singing and rapping. Then from there, you look at all these other artists and how it is that they started, like a Birdman. Birdman was really big in his area. You feel me? So it made sense. He had a lot of power and clout. The industry wanted Birdman. Who did Birdman bring with him to the industry? He brought whole of cash money. He brought Lil Wayne. He brought Juvenile. He brought BG. He brought Turk. There's a lot of people that you have to understand. It's like a, I wouldn't say like a grandfathering, but it's like you have to fill certain roles for the for 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 this for the situation to work. You get what I'm saying? Birdman already had clout and already had money and status where he was. So New Orleans being poverty stricken, uh uh broken and down bad the way that it was, that would be perfect to push those kind of guys and push them into the industry. You feel me? From there, you got a lot of people who fell in love with cash money in their music, and they set their, their 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 mark in the music industry. You get what I'm saying? That opened the doors for a lot of people who wanted to emulate and follow them. You get what I'm saying? It's not like they would have did something like, okay, let's go to a suburban area and find a not-so-hood kid and put him on. People going to feel that like he not from the hood. So why not go ahead and get somebody from the hood who really live in the trenches and have them talk about that lifestyle so it becomes more relatable? You feel me? That's why you have a lot of people who mimic their lifestyle after rappers like Lil Wayne, BG, uh, Turk, um, Juvenile. Um, I could keep going. 3-6 Mafia. There are certain people who set their mark in music and it left the doorway for more people to want to go and push towards the industry. You get what I'm saying? Not saying you can't make it in music, but you have to understand the level of sacrifices and what you're going to have to go through in order to get to certain levels. You feel me? It's not like way back when where music was a little bit more organic and damn near anybody could pick up a buzz and they can start making it happen. Music has become so common to the point where a lot of people are doing it. You could take a rock, throw it out the window, hit somebody, and the person you hit, they probably dropped the album or they got one about to drop or a tape or something. Everybody does music, bro. Everybody think they can rap. And that's the purpose of the game in the industry. They put forth certain people who can do music, certain people who can't do music. And it stirs up people in their emotions to be like, oh, I could do music. Oh, I could make it. Then a lot of people end up trying to pursue a rap career. Not saying you can't, but what I'm telling you is, if you feel like you're going to get on to the next level and make big money, not saying you can't, but you have to do certain things in order to obtain that, bro. And the industry wants certain types of people, i.e. desperate souls, you feel me? That they can push these agendas and, okay, you're going to be on the BET Awards, or you're going to be on the Grammys, you're going to be on the VMAs, you're going to walk the red carpets, you're going to touch hands and rub shoulders with the Gucci mans and the Yo Gotti's. These are moments that make a lot of people feel special because some people have been wanting that since they were a child. You feel me? Give you another example. Look at Tupac. Tupac was an actor. Tupac wasn't really a gangster. One of my first videos that I did when I came back off of my break, I did a video about Tupac. And what sparked that? Somebody, when I told him, yo, Tupac was an actor, the dude acted like he wanted to fight me. I'm like, money, are you serious? Bro, it's in plain sight, and he said it on interviews, dog. He's an actor, and a lot of people bought this stuff. This is the industry. They play a lot of tricks on people, so a lot of people fall for the bait. You feel me? All I'm trying to tell you is, is this. A lot of these celebrities that you see, they're not angels. They're not saints, bro. A lot of these people in high positions, they had to do something to get there. Some people had to sacrifice family members. Some people had to sacrifice friends. 
Some people had to sacrifice their body. Some people did way more just to get to a certain level of comfort as to where, yo, I don't have to work again. That's the whole purpose of it, dog. A lot of people want to, I don't want to work. I want to be an entertainer. I want to be in music. I, I, I did my wild stuff in the streets. Now I, I, I want to reap the rewards. That's not how this stuff goes. That's the connotation that they present to people like the sub, like the behind all of it, behind all the raps. Think about it. Majority rule of the rappers that you see in the industry were either incarcerated in the streets, pushing drugs, scamming, living wild, trapping, whatever the case may be. Right now, how where are you guys at in life? You guys are on the big screens now. Oh, I got to live that lifestyle. I got to get there. That's the that's the game that they're selling to people. And it's a lot of young kids that are going to take to it and fall for the bait. You feel me? So with that being said, just remember this, man. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion. Nobody's a loser. Just remember this. All of what you see in the media, a lot of that stuff is entertainment, but a lot of them have hidden agendas behind it. So it takes people like Charleston White, uh, bloggers on TikTok, bloggers on different social media platforms to point out and call out things that a lot of people who wouldn't catch it, they have to be like somebody has to break it down for them to see it. Some people see it, like I said, a lot of people do not. But just remember what it is that you're watching, what it is that you're programming yourself to, because a lot of this stuff is foolish, man. Foolishness, man. It's your boy 444 The World. Peace.